Hello guys. Today we're gonna make an infinite power loop with battery backups. Start with the power input. You can use solar, wind turbines, generators, everything. But we use a test generator in this case. I use the counters just to show you guys how the power goes and the values. Two branches, a blocker and the ore switch is all we need at the moment for the circuit to work. The rest is all bonus. We connect the power in to the first branch, loop the second, loop it to the second branch from the first one. the branch out to the blocker the blocker to the ore switch make a little mistake just to make it easy to see and the branch out from the first branch is the power that you get from the inputs we connect it to the OR switch too. The power out from the second branch, we're gonna use it to charge the batteries. You can use one battery, two batteries, three batteries, four batteries, it doesn't matter as long as you have enough power to charge them. The splitter out goes to the power in. And then we combine the power out from the batteries to the root combiner. And the power out from the batteries, we put it in the blocker. Because if we have enough power, the batteries won't use any and they get charged. Another counter just to show you guys how the power goes and what the amounts are. We set them on pass through because that's the way to show the power that's going through it. And we use the counter here just to show you the different values that we get. And from that counter you can connect everything that you need because the ore switch after that is your main power for the base. Just a quick search for a switch. You don't need to switch, but it's easier to turn the power in on and off. This is the overall setup. Not too complicated, but it's really handy to have in your base. The first branch we change to the amount of the power out that the batteries have, minus one. And this, the power out from the second branch, is the amount to charge the batteries. In this case, 100 power. Because we have 100 excess power. I'm just 
gonna place an extra counter to show you. Power out from the second bench. Little mistake. Hoppa. And we pull this to the splitter. So in this setup we have 300 power coming in. From the main power. We have 100 excess power for the charging. And 199 to the base. Total growth base. This is the overall setup. What happens when you don't have enough power going out? The branches will turn off and it switches over to the battery power. These are just the values that you can use. And the 199 power is the amount that we need for this battery setup. If you have three batteries, you need 299. If you have one battery, 99. It's always the output minus one. Now we turn off the power. You see the two branches go off. Zero power input. No charging for the batteries anymore. But still we get 200 power from the batteries and it goes through the blocker or switch and we have 200 power for the base. And when we turn it on, the blocker blocks the power from the battery and the excess amount will charge the batteries. And if we disconnect it with 100 power, it's less than the power that the batteries deliver. So the ore switch takes both uh, power lines, but it always takes the highest one. So in this case, it uses the batteries. You can see it on the blocker too. If it's red, the batteries are not used. If it's green, the batteries are used. I hope you like it. See you in the next one.